British ensemble series Downton Abbey was a mega hit, yet sadly we've already lost too many of its actors. Here are some of the familiar Downton Abbey faces who have since passed on, along with where you've seen them in the show. Terence Harvey played Downton's estate manager, Mr. Jarvis, who had worked for the Crawley family since 1880. Harvey had several memorable scenes during his appearance in Season 3, when Jarvis resists Matthew Crawley's attempts to modernize the Downton estate. As Matthew criticizes the lack of progression at Downton, he points to the way the estate has been run, which deeply offends Jarvis. I might just stand here after 40 years of loyal service to be accused of malfeasance and corruption. Although Matthew and Lord Grantham both apologize for causing offense, Jarvis abruptly makes up his mind to leave. Before he departs, he issues a strange warning to Matthew. I'm the old broom, Mr. Crawley. You are the new. I wish you luck with your sweeping. Though Harvey never returned to Downton Abbey, he did go on to work with Hugh Bonneville again in the 2017 film Viceroy's House. Prior to appearing in the British period drama, the actor also racked up credits in popular British soaps, including Hollyoaks, EastEnders, and Holby City. Harvey died suddenly at the age of 72 in 2017. Bernard Gallagher played recurring character William Bill Molesley in Downton Abbey. Molesley could usually be seen tending to his exquisite rose garden or offering advice to his son Joseph. Gallagher portrayed a loyal and caring father who does whatever he can to help his son. Gallagher's most memorable moments come in Episode 5 of the first season, when Molesley competes in the Downton Village Flower Show against the Dowager Countess of Grantham. After a few eye-opening conversations, the Dowager discovers that she is automatically being awarded the Grantham Cup for Best Bloom in the Village every year because of her title and reputation. In a very touching and surprising scene, the Dowager takes herself out of the running and announces Molesley's victory. He quietly acknowledges her sacrifice, saying, Thank you, my lady. Thank you for letting me have it. Before appearing in Downton Abbey, Gallagher enjoyed an acting career spanning more than half a century. He had a long history in the theater, making his stage debut in 1956, and later gained small screen roles in popular shows like Casualty, EastEnders, and Doctors. Gallagher died of pneumonia on November 27, 2016, at the age of 87. Critically acclaimed British actor Tim Piggott Smith had a small but memorable role in the third season of Downton Abbey. He played Sir Philip Tapsell, a specialist obstetrician recommended by the Dowager Countess of Grantham to oversee Lady Sybil Branson through childbirth. However, Tapsell's arrival at Downton Abbey causes conflict when he disagrees with the family's usual physician, Dr. Clarkson. Clarkson fears that Sybil is suffering from a dangerous condition and needs to deliver the baby immediately whereas Tapsell is convinced everything is fine. There is no danger whatsoever. Despite Clarkson's worry that Sybil is suffering from eclampsia, Tapsell's certainty that Clarkson is wrong prevents the family from taking her to the hospital. Unfortunately for everyone, Clarkson was right, and she dies after giving birth. Though Piggott Smith only guest starred in the one episode, his contribution to Downton Abbey's legacy was pivotal. The consequences of Sybil's death reverberated throughout the series, affecting all of the main cast in significant ways. Piggott Smith sadly died in April 2017 at the age of 70. In the year prior, the actor was made an OBE, or an officer of the most excellent order of the British Empire by Her Majesty the Queen. He was also nominated for a Tony Award for his role in King Charles III. Nikki Henson joined the cast of Downton Abbey in season one as the broken down former stage entertainer Charles Grigg. Grigg arrives in the first season looking for money and a place to hide after committing a petty crime. He forces the Crawley's butler, Carson, to help him by threatening to reveal his former friend's theatrical past. It turns out the pair used to perform as the cheerful Charlie's duo. However, Lord Grantham eventually sends Grigg packing. Grigg later returns in season four, hoping to make amends with Carson. His reappearance brings up past trauma for Carson, but they work through it and the pair eventually part as friends. Like his Downton Abbey character, Henson spent most of his career on the stage, performing in classics like Romeo and Juliet and A Midsummer Night's Dream. He also had a very memorable appearance on Faulty Towers as Mr. Johnson, 
a hotel guest hiding women in his room right under the nose of Basil Fawlty. In 2019, Henson died of cancer-related complications after living with the disease for almost 20 years. The year before, the actor had said, For the last 18 years, I've regarded myself as being an extra time, which I never expected to have, so I'm very thankful for it. Christopher Rositsky played Count Nikolai Rostov in the fifth season of Downton Abbey. Rostov is one of several Russian refugees whom Lady Rose is trying to help. In episode 3, Rose invites them to Downton for tea, but their arrival inadvertently reveals a secret about the Dowager. She admits she almost left her husband many years before for Prince Kurrigan, who is now a refugee. The episode highlights the Crawley family's sympathy toward the Russian monarchy and shows how deep their ties to other elite families are. Rositsky didn't get the opportunity to return to Downton Abbey after his three-episode stint on the series because, in 2015, he sadly died after an accidental fall at the age of 71. He is survived by his wife Joanna Hole and their four children. Downton Abbey was one of Rositsky's last roles before he died. The others were a guest appearance in the comedy drama Stella and a supporting role in docudrama The Honorable Rebel. Before appearing in the period drama, Rositsky had a main role in primetime medical drama, Casualty. Actor and singer Jane Wenham was best known for her theater roles in London's West End stage house, The Old Vic. After a successful career that spanned over six decades, she died at the age of 90 in 2018. Wenham was a versatile actor who performed everything from Shakespeare to Sophocles and anything in between. She quickly transitioned into television and film too, scoring guest roles on shows like General Hospital and Inspector Morse. In Downton Abbey, Wenham played Mrs. Bates, the mother of John Bates. She appeared in season one when she met with Anna Smith to expose Bates' estranged wife Vera's criminal past. Her son took the blame for his wife's crimes out of guilt. He felt he had ruined Vera's life, Miss Smith. Do you agree with him? No. No, I thought she was a nasty piece of work. Though Mrs. Bates only had a brief appearance on Downton Abbey, she helped to set the relationship of one of the series' favorite couples in motion. Their meeting confirms Anna's steadfast belief that Bates is a good man, and it gives her hope that the pair could have a future together. Ronald Pickup was best known for his role as Norman Cousins in The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel and its sequel. However, Downton Abbey fans will remember Pickup for his guest appearance as Sir Michael Raresby in the sixth and final season of the show. Raresby is introduced in episode three as an eccentric old man in need of a butler for his dilapidated estate, Dryden Park. Lord Grantham and Mr. Carson encouraged the Downton underbutler, Thomas Barrow, to interview for the job as a means to downsize staff at the Abbey. Raresby is initially thrilled to have Barrow as his new butler, but after Barrow points out his job advertisement doesn't quite match the job description, Raresby jumps to assuming his political leanings. I can't risk a Republican in this household when anyone might call me. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not quite up to it, philosophically. <laughs> The pair quickly part ways. However, this appearance on Downton Abbey was just a stop along the way for Pickup, who has a long list of credits under his belt, including supporting roles in other prominent period dramas. The actor played the Archbishop of Canterbury in the Netflix series The Crown, and former British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain in The Darkest Hour. On February 24, 2021, Pickup died peacefully after a long illness. His agent provided a statement saying the actor passed away, quote, surrounded by his wife and family. He will be deeply missed. After failing to get the job with Sir Michael Raresby at Dryden Park, Thomas Barrow is hired by Sir Mark Stiles, played by Belfast-born actor James Jimmy Green. Green appears in the last episode of season six, but is somewhat of a trying boss for Barrow who was underwhelmed by his new job. Sir Mark clearly likes for things to be done properly and is not happy that Barrow is letting his duties fall to another member of the staff when he needs an evening off. Mrs. Jenkins will carry up the tea. The cook, carrying the tea into the drawing room. Luckily for Barrow, that's the last we see of Sir Mark, as Barrow is enticed back to Downton Abbey to replace Carson, who decides it is time to retire. Prior to his guest appearance in Downton Abbey, Green had been busy bagging roles in a variety of popular British shows, like Merlin, 
Doctor Who and Call the Midwife. He also appeared in feature films like Sherlock Holmes and Les Miserables. During his 40-year career, Green also spent time performing on London's West End. In January 2021, at the age of 89, Green died after briefly suffering from an undisclosed illness. He is remembered by the Belfast Telegraph as a, quote, staple of TV and film for many years. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.